What's happening, guys? Tun Jones here, and I'm here to tell you about my little friend. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. I had to. This little bad boy is the MLX from Lucid Optics. I absolutely love this thing. Man, 4.5 by 18 by 44, fast lever, anything and everything you want in a scope. I had the pleasure of testing this out at the summit, Ballistic Summit put on by Lucid Optics. <sighs> Jason said, put it on, give it a try. Gave him the look. Said, Tell me about this thing first. He said, okay, cool. You can absolutely love it. It's made for close range and long range it's a perfect balance of both i said but i'm blind no literally i can't see much he said then it's going to be great for you and he went into this big long spiel about mathematics and number letters and fancy words ed glass um all kinds of fluoride funny things about etched stuff and it was like, okay, so it's really cool and high quality glass. And so we mounted up on the rifle and we first put it on my raw from Rapid Airworks and set it up four inches eye relief, took it out to the range. And this thing was perfect. First thing I noticed, first focal plane. And for someone that's like me, First focal plane and setup in mill is perfect because when I'm playing with magnification, your point of impact and your reticle is the reticle never changes. You don't have to do a bunch of different crazy math. So I am a huge fan of the first focal plane and I fell in love with the MLX right off the bat. I mean, it was just outstanding. Everything about this was great. And then I actually had a appreciation for his ed glass and it was quality you didn't get a bunch of distortion around the edge of the tube when you have your eye relief on some scopes you'll actually notice as you set your eye relief and then you play with your magnification you get this fish eye in this gray area out towards the maximum magnification with this i didn't get it it was I shoot at the high end of magnification on most of my optics. So I wrapped, the first thing I did is I wrapped the magnification all the way up, and I'm like, all the way to 18, I'm like, that's where I'm gonna be living. And it was clear, it was crystal clear. Was loving this thing. It was just perfect. And then I was like, okay, I wanna see the bottom end. I put it back down to 4.5, and I was, oh, look at that lever, I was like, Everything works great. And then we start to sight this thing in. And that's when Jason said, hey, let me tell you about the upgrades of this. Because this isn't the first one. He said, the, f the first version of this had a bunch of different turrets that wasn't a little too technical. So now all you got to do is lift, adjust, press down. Well, that's pretty easy. It's, he said it was a simplified match reticle and turret. So I said, can we just say it's lift, adjust, and press down? He said, yeah, but it's simplified match grade turrets. I said, I'm just going to call it lift, adjust, and press down. Because that's, you lift, adjust, press down. And he gave me this look like, yeah, but it's a simplified match grade turret. I said, Okay, so you lift, adjust, and press down. Lift, adjust, press down. He just kind of went, okay, and just walked away. <laughs> After I got done harassing him for quite some time, and I was shooting this on our raw, I wanted to see how it did under the power of the Air Force Texan, some of our big bores. So we took it and set it on my 450 my 457 Texan and shooting a 350 grain slug. 
We dropped this sucker on that, and I wanted to see how long range you can get with all the adjustments. So we were at the Whittington Center during Summit. We set this thing on there, and I attempted to shoot the white buffalo at 1,127 yards. Of course, I had help from people that knew number letters way better than I did. Um, Jason and Jim, Jim's, Jim Gilliland were uh, doing all the numbers and calculations and all the funny things. I just held the rifle and lifted, adjusted, and pressed down on the simplified match grade turrets. And with this scope, I was able to hit that thing three times at 1127 without a problem. I was impressed. We were losing light. So I broke out this little happy sunshade. And the great thing about this, see that beauty ring? It comes off. Added the sunshade and very fine threads, but may I add? And this is the cool part about this sunshade. Even with my messed up fingers and a little bit of patience, you could slide it back on there, protect the threads on the front. And if need be, you can call up Lucid and get an extension to make it even longer. But we threw this exact scope from my 25 cal raw precision air rifle to my Texan big bore to my Barrett MRAD 308 and we took it up on the mountainside and we're hitting over 1800 yards tag and steel and it performed on every single platform flawlessly first focal plane everything about this was a delight I loved it so much you notice where it's at? Still here. He's not getting it back. So this 45 by 18 by 44 MLX from Lucid Optics, when I actually talked to Jason, he said, yes, there's upgrades. The, all, the platform he had me test and check out is all the new additions to this scope that he has made available. He listened to his customers, made the tweaks, and this is what's available now. I have it on everything from my 308 to my Ruger 1022, because let's be honest, overkill is underrated. And this thing is available now a quality retailers near you. Check it out, the MLX from Lucid Optics. Yeah, because it's going back on another gun right now.